Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, sunny and super sentimental or sensitive when it comes to long-term relationships today, we have a moon in Aquarius, so your emotions, the moon, are focused on long-term partnerships. Remember, the most important partnership on the planet is the one to yourself, so you are emotionally sensitive to the way you treat you, and you're very emotionally sensitive to the way other treats you. On top of that, turn up the volume. It's a full moon in Aquarius, so this is the one time in the year where you are the most emotional or most emotionally sensitive to your partnerships in life, and hold on, Turn up the volume again, it's a lunar eclipse, which means the sun and moon line up in such an alignment that the gravity is intensified. So this may very well be a drama day for the Leos. Now the whole point of the moon is of course to pull away from the sun. That's what it is. It's a tug of war between the sun and moon. The sun is in the house of ego this month for Leos. You are working on a new ego, a new hairdo probably, a new style, a new way of putting yourself out there, but you probably are stuck or stubborn about certain attitudes when it comes to your ego and only getting really emotional about your long-term relationships will pull you out of your ego long enough for you to see truth. And that's what this lunar eclipse is going to be. It's going to be a major shift for the royalty of the zodiac. So there may be a trigger. If you find yourself in a huge fight with your partner, if you find yourself in a huge fight with yourself, or even a business partnership or a best friend forever, these all qualify according to seventh house kind of rules here in astrology. You have to look back and ask yourself, is there something I could change about the way I'm defending myself, the way I'm representing myself, even the way I'm presenting myself? Maybe you showed up looking like a bum and that's what triggered your partner. So today it is a learning day <laughs> in a fun, dramatic way, and it's a day of dramatic shift for Leos in relationships. Now, I've got some great news. To celebrate this day, we have a new practitioner here at Soul Garden. Her name is Kristen Ryder, and she's the full moon goddess. We bring her out once a month, only during the full moon, and her desire is to help you release from what's holding you back from growth. So in your case, you emotionally want a certain partnership or you want your partnerships to work, but you need to release from ego attachment. So Kristen will get very deep. She'll focus on Aquarius. I kind of prep talked her about the Aquarius vibration ahead of time, and she's available live on soulgrind.tv, the mothership, exclusively. All right, Your Majesty, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. Soul.